The popular Korean drama The Glory is about a living plot in which Dong Eun, who experienced school violence while she was a student, seeks to exact revenge on the perpetrators. The scene where the perpetrator scorched Dong Eun's body with hair strengtheners is based on a true story, which is the most shocking aspect. Similar to Dong Eun, Miss A, a third grade student in Cheongju, North Chungcheong, endured physical abuse for a month in 2006. Even worse, the perpetrators burned her burnt skin once more to prevent it from healing. They also used their fingernails to scrape off her scalp. The incredible story of the glory made headlines around the globe. In particular, Om Pawad, one of Thailand's most well-known actors, admitted that he had participated in school violence when he was a student, due to the, the glory. One of the pervasive problems in Korean society is school violence. The fact that the perpetrators don't repent for their sins and continue to live lavishly is the most tragic of this. Fortunately, in contrast to earlier times, perpetrators tend to be constrained today. He or she is prohibited from returning to the entertainment industry when it is discovered that idol members were the perpetrators. Common examples include the Kim Garam of Lu Serapim, Park Kyung of Black B, and Soo Jin of Idol. Other celebrities as well as idols couldn't be pardoned for school violence. Then how does current school violence occur and how is it handled? We can now learn more about current school violence. All acts of violence, both inside and outside of schools, are considered acts of school violence. Here, the term violence refers to all forms of violence, including cyber, Volvo, and Pitker. The perpetrators are not just limited to students. If anyone used violence to our students, including parents and teachers, they could all be considered perpetrators. Three elements are typically necessary for the establishment of school violence. Intentional, repeated, and imbalance of power. In other words, even if it was just misshaped, school violence occurs when imbalanced students bully weak people intentionally and repeatedly. Therefore, in addition to Park Jin and her friends, the teacher who did nothing to address dong issue, the other adults, and the students who were merely spectators were all complicit in the school violence. The Daegu Middle School student suicide case was the event that caused the concern about school violence in Korea. A middle schooler committed suicide in 2011 as a result of bullying at the school. He endured unspeakable abuse, including water torture, assault, and stealing. Even the perpetrators dragged him like a dog and bound his neck with an electric wire, forcing him to eat the crumbs on the ground. He lost a suicide note to his family before finally taking his own life. People are furious about this case. People were sadder after seeing the CCTV image of him sitting in the elevator before fasting him seven hours later. Currently, Vaj is school violence prevention law in 2012 after realizing the danger of school violence as a result of this incident. So what is the current state of school violence in Korea? 5,800 students reported having experienced school violence in 2012 too. This represents 1.7% of all students in Korea. Additionally, it was discovered that elementary school students are primarily affected by school violence. The prevalence of school violence is much higher than 12 times when compared to elementary, middle, and high school students. Additionally, 35.6% of school violence was verbal, 16.4% was group bullying, 11.1% was stuck, and 11% was physical assault. Actually, it's challenging to determine the precise level of school violence. It's because the victims were silent about their injuries. 
In fact, 70% of the victims were unable to show the extent of their injuries. Additionally, the schools do not want to be made public. Numerous cases are being kept secret by the schools. Even so, it is difficult to conclude that current school violence is more severe than in the past. All corporal punishment by teacher is not forbidden, especially in light of the lives of students. As a result, there has been less overall violence in schools. However, today students are more likely to be harassed and victimized by school violence. It is because students are becoming less resilient and more sensitive to actual violence. Even if the victims grew up, they still experience trauma. The trauma that the victims experience left them with long-term depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, self-injury, and suicidal thoughts. They were unable to lead normal lives. Korea, however, only concentrated on toughening the penalties for the perpetrators. Only those who were victims must manage their scars. The propensity of the glory stems from the catharsis that those retaliation against Yeonjin provided for Koreans. In Korean culture, the offenders are proud of their actions. The perpetrators have been living splendid lives for a very long time, but they have always justified their crime as innocent play from their childhood. We must take an effort not to become another Dongun, another wounded child like the perpetrators in the glory. Both the social and government levels of government must make an effort in this direction. The only way the victim can accomplish this on her own, as deeper in the drama, is to gradually dry up both perpetrator and victims. So thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to click the subscribe and the like button.